What's up, peeps? Mike Vips here. Today I have a device, an RDA, a squonker, a dual 18650 mod, all in one modular device to show you guys. And this setup right here was sent to me for the purpose of this review from Wismec. It is the Luxotic MF Box Mod Kit. Yeah. This is going to be a long video. So, no build in the RDA. I'll show you guys the RDA without a build. I'll show you with the build and with cotton. All right, because I've already reviewed the guillotine version too, but I will show you a new feature with the RDA, what they've done with the top cap on here. Basically, the flip over adjustable airflow situation that it has. So, let's not waste any time. Let's dive down. Let's check out the Wismic Luxotic MF. And here's the packaging, the Luxotic MF box by Wismic comes in. Inside the packaging, user manual, cotton, you get a battery adapters, another sleeve here for it's basically an adapter. Inside the mod, there's also another adapter. You get an A10 drip tip, O-rings, lots of extra screws, some pre-made coils, a regular 510, Allen key, a chip, the guillotine version 2 RDA, and the Luxotic MF. All right, guys, here is the guillotine version 2 RDA. I already have a full review on this. I already did a build, everything for this RDA, but I want to show you something that they've changed up on here. Anyway, it does come with this beauty ring that's optional to use. It is 24 millimeter, squonk pin pre-installed. Do have bottom airflow adjustable when it's on the mod by turning or on a build stand, which I'm going to do now. I'm just going to screw this on here. There we go. And you do have adjustability of the airflow. It does spin around. And uh, there is no locking system, which sucks because it is kind of loose. You know, spinning it is very easy to spin this. A10 drip tip, you get two Ultim A10s. One is this wide bore one, and they have another skinny one that comes with it. You can see that it's one of those thinner, taller ones inside there. Now, you do have an option of flipping the barrel with this. So, before we look at the flipping the barrel part, you do have clamps. Bottom airflow, there's the insides of the RDA. Now, with this top cap, which I'm going to show you guys now, you could unscrew this piece. Actually, you take the drip tip out. You unscrew this. You have an O-ring there. Be careful. That's the O-ring that holds the drip tip. And you just push this out. You can see that it's an airflow control. So you flip the barrel. And now you could make it into an adjustable airflow, regular, basically a side airflow RDA if you don't want to use it as a bottom airflow. So we just push that down, screw this all the way in. And you can see now as I'm turning it, you could adjust the airflow. See that? Right, so it has airflow adjustment, side airflow adjustment, bottom airflow, adjusting it by turning this whole cap. Now, because they used Ultim for this piece, the stainless steel, to screw on, you have to be careful when doing it, when screwing it on, because you don't want to cross-thread this. And reason being, the way I see it, why they used Ultim is because for heat transfer. So heat transfer doesn't transfer on here and onto your lips. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you have to be careful with this. All right, so the Guillotine V2 RDA. I'm not going to do a build on camera. This is going to be a long video because I need to show the mod, too. So, anyway, it is... So you can see here Allen key screws, and that's the size that it uses. Right there, and there's a clamp style system. All right, so there it is without a build. And here is the RDA with a build in it, using the coils that they supply. There you go, with cotton. All right, guys, and here is the Luxotic MF by Wismic. So, yeah, where do we begin on this? We'll start off from the top, we do have our 510, nice and flush. Everything sits beautiful on here. Now, up and down button, our screen. Got a nice little design, almost looks like wood grain, like a wood grain design. Matches the RDA, very nice. There's your back door for it. There's the bottom, manufactured by Wismic. And our fire button, pretty loud fire button on here. Now, to open up this door, Oh, what's this, Mike? I'll show you guys in a second. Little tab there, you stick your finger in, and you open. So, yes, squonk. You can squonk with this. The bottle holds 7 ml of e-liquid. This little door here, or whatever you want to call it, comes out. So this way, when you are using it in single battery squonk mode, 
now the door is open and you could squonk it so battery configurations on this mod there's a few all right let's put this to the side we could run it as a single 18650 squonker when you do that you grab your single 18650 the battery sleeve that they provide all right and then you pop it in let's see here positive down so it'll go in just like that all right so right now it's a single battery device as you can see there another way to run the device is with a 21700 or a 2700 battery positive down kind of wish they were marked in white you guys are going to get sick of me hearing me say that all the time so there we go we have it in single battery 21700 mode as you can see there all right door sits nice and flush everything sits beautiful with those batteries now let's pull this out you could also run this in dual 18650 mode non squonk so take the bottle out there's your bottle and you can see the way the bottle is set up it's more offset so that's the way it's going to go and you want that offset to be this part here where it's closer to the edge to be against here and then there's where you would slip right inside that little area there so it it is kind of tricky to get this all in place uh, make sure you have a little bit of liquid on here so this way it just goes in beautifully and try holding it from here so this way you're not squeezing liquid out and hold it upright when doing it you know it's a little tricky putting it in now uh there we go they give you this attachment right here and what this does is you just slip it right there see that then you grab your batteries so let's grab our first 18650 remember these are ran in parallel so positive down both ways so there's the first battery let's get it in there there we go second battery all right and you see what happens here this side is higher than that side so let's pull this battery out this is what that other side. i wanted to show you guys how that looked when you had it in there that's so it doesn't bounce around so they give you this sleeve to do this basically to make it as fat as a 2700 or 21700 so now let's put it again back inside positive down you can see that and it kind of just holds everything in place make sure those batteries are all the way down perfect you would add this piece on there and the way the door goes in there's a little see this little uh, piece sticking out that slides right in right inside there all right that's the way the door goes on now when it's in dual 18650 mode as you guys can see the door does not sit flush I don't know how they missed that they should have seen that I've tried it with everything and this situation happens you can see that this door does not pop off or anything door sits solid on this one now on the black version it wobbles on this one it's actually pretty good it's not bad so the black one has a wobble to it but yeah this gap is a big con in my opinion now another thing you could do with this device is remove the chipset that's in here what we have in here right now is a 100 watt chip and it's a couple of screws on the outside to undo it and then you have seven screws on the inside but what they do give you is this direct output chip so if you want to use it in direct output mode you could uh, i really don't get why because this makes it run the way this would run in bypass mode so it's kind of like uh yeah i don't get it but anyway you they give you that option also you could also remove the 510 on here and if you want to change the plate or clean everything this is all easy accessible all right so what we're going to do right now is take it apart and to get inside here it's these two outside screws one right here and this one here now that i've gotten that off you're going to see that this just pops right off see that that comes out there's your button right there just sitting there so i'll put this on to the side put that there and then we have one two three four five six seven screws that we're going to take out
And there you have it. All right, that just comes right out. So this is our 100 watt chipset. And be careful with this because yeah, the, your fire button is right here and it's just being held. So you got, it's very delicate, so you gotta be careful with this. So then you grab the direct output chip. Same thing, there's our fire button. And there's all of our contacts. And this is just going to go right back into place. And you're going to line up all the screws. All right, now that I got it lined up, I'll screw it all back in. And there you go, all screwed back in, all together. Now, since I got everything open, I might as well do this too. I'll show you guys. We'll unscrew the 510 area. And there you go. You can see there, a big rubber gasket inside there. You can see how it's screwed in from the bottom, the nut. So you don't have to worry about this 510 coming off. All right, now that I got everything screwed into place, next thing you do is, on this piece here, we're gonna, oh, there goes the fire button fell. Let's put that to the side. We're gonna take this piece out, this gasket. Or it's actually the up and down buttons, whatever you wanna call them. So that also pops right out. There you go. Put that to the side, and then this just slips right over. Actually, we need the fire button in there. All right, got the fire button in place. Do something like that. There you go, and that's the way it's gonna look. All right, now it's fully assembled in direct output mode. I have it in dual 18650 mode. You can see there, both batteries in place, and now. This is where there used to be buttons, and it's not buttons anymore, obviously. There's nothing going on here. Just It's just branding, Wismic, nothing there. But what it does is, see that? It flashes. There's lights that flash on this thing. All right, off camera, I swapped the board. I put back the regular 100-watt board. But I wanted to show you guys something. When you do put this all back together, you can see that I did put the up and down buttons back on. We'll slap this right inside. Okay, make sure that fire button, there we go. Now that it's in, make sure everything, everything looks fine. You got two screws, the two outside screws. The longer one, the one that's longer, goes on top. The shorter one goes in from the bottom. All right, tighten this down, flip it, and that obviously is this screw right here. screw that down that's it all right it is assembled and ready with the 100 watt chip and we're going to use it now in squonk mode all right let's take a look at the chipset here on the wismic mf luxotic five clicks on and off three three clicks wattage mode you have your temperatures m1 two and threes you have your stainless steel mode ti ni Bypass, like I said, you could run this as a mech, so that's why I don't get why you need to take it out. And back into wattage mode on the screen, shows you your wattage. All right, it does it in one watt increments up to 100 watts. Resistance, voltage, and amp supplied. When I do press the fire button, you can see there it's running 25 amps. Another thing you could do is two clicks, brings you into the logo area. If you want to do logo on and off. And obviously with the logo, you have to go into the website with the firmware and all that. The board itself does remind me of an um, e-leaf board. Alright, three clicks, wattage. We're going to go into stainless steel 
All right, there's our temperature control. You can see there, four clicks. I could change the wattage inside temperature control. Click on the fire button. And adjust my temperature. Now, if I press both buttons at the same time, I could lock it. All right, key lock. I could still fire it. I don't have to worry about changing my wattage. Press that again. And it says key unlock. All right, press the down button or up button, whatever you want to call Is that the up button? Down button and fire button at the same time. Go into stealth mode, stealth on, stealth off. And another thing you do is press the uh, up button and fire button at the same time. See the amps blinking? I could do puff counter, how many seconds you press, or put it back into amps. Now, before putting in your squonk bottle, make sure your RDA is there. So just in case when you do put it in and get it attached and place the bottle in, you don't got liquid squirting out. Obviously, if the RDA is on there, the liquid will squirt into the RDA. That's where you want it to go. All right, I got the bottle filled up. I didn't put liquid all the way to the top. And another thing, like I said, take a little bit of liquid and throw a drop right there at the opening. And obviously, like I said, this part that's closer to the end is going to be on the back wall. So take that and just slip it in. There we go. It's in place. Push up and place in. And there we go. All right, bottle is in place. Now, when refilling this, in my opinion, the best way to do it is fill from the top you know use one of those uh refillable squonk bottles and refill from the top i think that's the best way to do it and obviously because this does house a 21 700 that's what i'm going to use for me it's pointless to use a single 18 650 in here if i could use a 21 700 inside here all right so i got the 21 700 in place next step i do is grab the door pop off that bottom piece slip it in and obviously with the squonk bottle in place, no gap at all with this. All right, it sits perfect. There we go. Guillotine RDA is in place. Press on that squonk bottle. Get some liquid inside there. I'll help it out too. We'll throw a little bit of liquid on top. Grab our top cap. Put it on. And we are ready to vape. Well, I could have also added the beauty ring, but there you go. All right, guys, and that was the Luxotic MF kit by Wismic. Let's go back up on top. Let's vape on it, and I'll give you guys my thoughts. And there you have it. That was the up close of the MF Luxotic Wismic. Mike, thoughts, please. Cons. Okay, first cons that have to be, which I, I just, uh, who actually okayed it with the dual 18650s in here the door doesn't sit all right the gaps up here i mean it sits in place don't get me wrong door's not going to come off while you're using it no but it's not sitting in place so that's going to be a con hopefully these are just uh beta samples and they going to resolve the issue but who knows but so, something that i worth mentioning you know so that's a con uh what else is going to be a con on here the device giving you that chip. Now, there's going to be a little confusion going on here. I've done some research and I haven't seen anybody selling this kit with both chips together. It's either you're going to buy it with the 100 watt chip or you're going to buy it with the other chip, the whatever you want to call the chip that's in there. What is it called again? They're calling it the box mod chip. But anyway. I found it in two different ways. That's it. I haven't found it. You could buy them together. So they sent me this kit here. Maybe it's because reviewing it. So they sent me it with the chipset, the secondary chipset in the box, so I could show you guys. But I think it's going to be sold separately. All right. So if that's the case, that's a con. But going back into that, uh, the direct output board that they give you operates the way the mod would operate in bypass mode. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't know what the reasoning is behind that. You might as well just get the 100 watt chip because you could still do it in bypass mode. So, yeah. But anyway, 
Uh, this is one of those devices to where not everybody should have it. If you're gonna, because taking it apart, you lose screws. They give you extra screws, which is a pro. But uh, I don't see taking this apart. I think the biggest feature of this device is that it could use a 21700, a 2700, or an 18650, all three batteries, single, it's, and it's a, a squonker. And also, if you don't want to squonk it, make it a dual 18650 parallel mod, non-squonkable, and use it that way. Bro. So, going back into cons, obviously the battery door, like I was saying, on the black one, it moves up and down. It's very, just moves a lot. On this one here, the brush stainless, it's beautiful. All right, does not move around. Very little. You know, which is, you're not going to sit there and do that. In the hand, this actually feels solid. The black one felt a little floppy, the door. Just going back and forth. I didn't like the way that one was operating. Um, what other cons, Mike? I think that's it. I really, everything else on this device is pretty awesome. The way they've designed it. I love the idea of changing out so many different batteries. That's going to be a pro. Squonk bottle feels good. I've had no issues. Now, the pin that comes out where your bottle, your tube attaches to for the squonking, it's a little bit deep in there. So I, I kind of wish it was a little bit longer. But I understand why they did that because the battery contacts, when you make it a dual 18650, you don't want that to be in the way. So I understand why they did that. But it's still workable. Uh, Mike, can you use other bottles in here? Yes, you can. You could use other bottles inside here. No problem. But obviously, it's you're not going to get the same amount of liquid capacity with other bottles. You know what I'm saying? But it, it'll fit in there. As long as your tube is long enough, not pre-cut already, if it's a brand new pot, bottle with a new tube inside it, it'll fit. Because don't cut the tube to put it in there. All right. Um, I would have liked to see an extra bottle included with this. It would have been nice, you know, uh, because it is almost like a prop proprietary bottle. But it's not, so I'm not going to really fault them on that. Because you could use other bottles in your arsenal. Uh, I really don't have much other to complain about with the device. You know, functionality, it functions like other devices that are made out of the E Leaf Wismic Joytech Camp. It's got that same board in there. Reminds me of the basically the old boards that Wismic and E Leaf were using. Uh, does it fire? No rattling. Does it fire right away? Click the fire button. There is a slight little ramp up time, very slight on there. You know, it's not instant firing on this. Let me have a vape. How's the RDA, Mike? Airflow is nice and smooth. I am using the bottom airflow. I really have no issues with this RDA. RDA vape's great. It's a nice RDA. The only thing, the gripes that I have with it is that Ultim piece on the inside. Because... If you're gonna take it all apart so you could reverse the cap to make it into a side airflow, you gotta be careful screwing that back on because you don't wanna cross thread that. Kind of wish I didn't have to worry about that, cross threading, but you have to just be careful with it. And the reasoning they put the Ultima in there is to keep heat transfer from the top. Even though it still gets warm, it really doesn't make a difference in my opinion. It's still gonna, heat's still gonna travel, make its way there. But yeah, it's just something worth mentioning. Flavor on the RDA, pretty good. Now, all in all, nice mod. What I'd like to see is them selling these boards. Even the 100 watt board and the other direct output voltage board separately. Sell them just the boards. It's one of those mods to where you use, you can use this for a while. You don't have to worry about buying other mods. If the chipset breaks on you, grab yourself your spare chip. You know what I'm saying? You can just replace the chip. You don't have to replace the whole mod. So that's a big pro on that. You know, but uh, the other chipset, the direct, I just don't get why you would want that when you could just use this in bypass mode. Yeah, it makes no sense to me. But uh, all in all, it's a nice device. They are selling it, like I said, on I'm looking at heavengifts.com. They have the kit with the 100 watt board, 7742. Then they have the kit that's going to be with the direct output voltage board, which is going to be cheaper, $65.80. That comes with the RDA. Now, if you want to buy them separately, it's different prices. You could just buy the mod with the 100 watt board, 58.84, without the 100 watt board, 43.23. So that's what I've been talking about. I've been looking everywhere, and I cannot find anywhere saying that both will come together. I think this was just for the reviewers, guys. 
So I know other people have done reviews. I'm not sure if any of the other reviewers had mentioned that. I'm letting you guys know now. Don't expect when you get the device to have both boards in there. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I haven't found anywhere stating that it comes with both. Only uh, the reviewer package that I have says it'll come with both. All right, so. Mike, do you recommend this device? If they fix the battery door, if they fix the battery door on here, yeah, I do recommend it. Even though it's not an issue, it squonks great. It's a 100 watt device. Squonker, 21700, 100 watts. That's a big pro. And that's what a lot of people are looking for. Something to at least hit off at 100 watts. So that's a big pro in my opinion. Yeah, I do recommend it. I think it's a pretty nice setup. I like the kit. The RDA is a pretty nice RDA. You know, the Guillotine V2 is a nice RDA. Only wish that it had a locking system. Because when those O-rings get a little bit wet, it'll be kind of hard to unscrew that. And they give you the beauty ring. It's got a nice little design. It matches that wood grain design all around the mob. It's a nice little kit. I, I like the brushed stainless steel one. Looks awesome. So, in the description below, I'll have a link to Wismix's website. Link to HeavenGifts.com. Coupon code AMV15 will get you 15% off. And go on Wismix's website. You'll see. It doesn't state that they come both chips. It only says they in two different packages. Two different. You know what I'm saying? So it makes me believe that. You're going to buy either the 100 watt or the direct output one, and then they'll sell the chips separately where you could buy them and replace them. I'd like to see some different style, different looking chips for this, you know? Who knows? Maybe they'll do something. I'm not sure what they'll do, but maybe the chipset will be a different screen, something a little bit bigger, and it comes with the faceplate, and you just replace the faceplate. So they might sell all kinds of accessories to add on to this. So let's see what they bring out in the future. All right, so like I said, those links down below and all of my links are down below as always. That's it. I'm done. Thank you and remember, keep on vaping.